Hans Urs von Balthasar the 12th of August 1905 to the 26th of June 1988 was a Swiss theologian and Catholic priest who was to be created a cardinal of the Catholic Church but died before the ceremony. He is considered one of the most important Roman Catholic theologians of the 20th century. On March 2018, together with the mystic and stigmatist Adrian von Speer, the Roman Catholic Diocese of Chur formally opened their cause toward sainthood. Life Balthasar was born in Lucerne, Switzerland, on 12 August 1905, to a wealthy family. He was educated first by Benedictine monks at the Abbey School at Engelberg in central Switzerland. Before finishing his secondary education, however, Balthasar was moved by his parents to the Stella Matutina College run by the Society of Jesus in Feldkirch, Austria. In 1923 he enrolled in the University of Zurich. His studies in philosophy and German literature led him to study subsequently in Vienna and Berlin and culminated in his doctoral work on German literature and idealism. In 1929, having submitted his thesis, he entered the Society of Jesus Jesuits in Germany, since the Jesuits were banned in Switzerland until 1973. For three years he studied philosophy at Pollock, near Munich, and came into contact with Eric Perzavara, whose work on Analogia Entis the analogy of being was very influential on him. In 1932, he moved to Forveres, the Jesuit school at Lyon, for his four years of theological study. Here he encountered Jean de Nielu, Gaston Fessard, and Henri de Lubac. Danielu and de Lubac were both to become notable from the 1940s onwards as members of the Nouvelle Théologie, a group of thinkers raising deep questions about the neoscholastic doctrine of grace and nature, with its suggestion that human nature could be conceived of in isolation from its relation to the vision of God. Both Danielu and de Lubac, as part of their reassessment of neoscholastic thought, were increasingly turning to studies of patristic thinkers. Balthasar received from these theological studies an enduring love of the Church Fathers, which was later to lead to his studies of Origin of Alexandria 1938, Maximus the Confessor, Kasmish Liturgy 1941, and Gregory of Nyssa, Praesence et Ponce Having completed his training in seven years, because of his previous studies, Balthasar was ordained a priest in 1936. He then worked briefly in Munich, on the Jesuit journal Stimmen der Zeit. In 1940, with the Nazi regime encroaching on the freedom of Catholic journalists, he left Germany and began work in Basel as a student chaplain, while in Basel he met Adrienne von Speer. She was a twice-married Protestant medical doctor in chronically poor health, who through her mystical experiences would have a huge impact on Balthasar's later thought. In 1940 he received her into the Catholic Church. In 1945, they founded a religious society, the Community of St. John Johannesgemeinschaft, for men and women. This became more widely known three years later when Balthasar produced a theology for secular institutes in his work Der Ley und der Ordenstand, the first book to be published by the Johannes Verlag, a publishing house established with the help of a friend. Because the Jesuits did not see running the institute as compatible with belonging to the society, von Balthasar had to choose between remaining a Jesuit and his involvement with the institute. In 1950 he left the Society of Jesus, feeling that God had called him to continue his work with this secular institute, a form of consecrated life that sought to work for the sanctification of the world from within the world. He accordingly remained without a role in the church until in 1956 he was incarnated into the Diocese of Chur as a secular priest. Balthasar was not invited to take part in any capacity in the Second Vatican Council but in later years his reputation as a theologian grew. In 1969 Pope Paul VI appointed him to the International Theological Commission, and in 1984 he was awarded the first Paul VI International Prize for his contributions to theology. From the low point of being banned from teaching as a result of his leaving the Society of Jesus, his reputation eventually rose to the extent that Pope John Paul II named him to be a cardinal in 1988. He died, however, in his home in Basel on 26 June 1988, two days before the ceremony which would have granted him that position. His remains were interred in the Hofkirch Cemetery in Lucerne. Theology Along with Karl Rahner and Bernard Lonergan, Balthasar sought to offer an intellectual, faithful response to Western modernity, which posed a challenge to traditional Catholic thought. 
While Rahner offered a progressive, accommodating position on modernity and Lonergan worked out a philosophy of history that sought to critically appropriate modernity, Balthasar resisted the reductionism and human focus of modernity, wanting Christianity to be more challenging toward modern sensibilities. Balthasar is very eclectic in his approach, sources, and interests and remains difficult to categorize. An example of his eclecticism was his long study and conversation with the influential Reformed Swiss theologian, Karl Barth, on whose work he wrote the first Catholic analysis and response. Although Balthasar's major points of analysis on Karl Barth's work have been disputed, his The Theology of Karl Barth, Exposition and Interpretation 1951 remains a classic work for its sensitivity and insight. Karl Barth himself agreed with its analysis of his own theological enterprise, calling it the best book on his own theology. Topic. Writings and thought Balthasar's first major work, the three-volume Apocalypse der Deutschen Seele (1937–39), Apocalypse of the German Soul, was an expansion of his dissertation and a study in German literature, theology, and philosophy. Published in Germany and Austria during the Third Reich, one scholar has argued that the work contains antisemitism. Balthasar was better known for his 15-volume Systematics trilogy, published from 1961 to 1985, which is divided into three parts according to John chapter 14, verse 6: "I am the way, the truth, and the life." And therefore, according to the Transcendentals Bonum, Verum, and Pulchrum, the good, the true, and the beautiful, one, the glory of the Lord, seven volumes, a work on theological aesthetics. One of the often quoted passages from the entire trilogy comes from the first volume, seeing the form of the glory of the Lord. Before the beautiful, no, not really before, but within the beautiful, the whole person quivers. He not only finds the beautiful moving, rather, he experiences himself as being moved and possessed by it. 2. Theodrama, Theological Dramatic Theory five volumes, a work on theodramatics, examines the ethics and goodness in the action of God and in the human response, especially in the events of Good Friday, Holy Saturday, and Easter Sunday. Balthasar's soteriology, Christology, and eschatology, are here developed. 3. The final group of volumes is titled Theologic three volumes, describing the truth about the relation of the nature of Jesus Christ Christology to reality itself ontology, or the study of being. He completes the third part of his trilogy with a brief epilogue. A distinctive thought in Balthasar's work is that our first experience after birth is the face of love of our mothers, where the I encounters for the first time the Thou, and the Thou smiles in a relationship of love and sustenance. Balthasar also wrote of the lives of saints and church fathers. Saints appear as an example of the lived Christian life throughout his writings. Instead of merely systematic analysis of theology, Balthasar described his theology as a kneeling theology, deeply connected to contemplative prayer and as a sitting theology, intensely connected to faith-seeking understanding guided by the heart and mind of the Catholic Church, Balthasar was very concerned that his writings address spiritual and practical issues. He insisted that his theology never be divorced from the mystical experiences of his longtime friend and convert, the physician Adrian von Speer. Balthasar published varied works spanning many decades, fields of study e.g., literature and literary analysis, lives of the saints, and the church fathers, and languages. Balthasar used the expression cast ameritrix to argue that the term whore of Babylon was acceptable in a certain tradition of the church. In the writings of Rabanus Morris, for instance, at Balthasar's funeral, then Cardinal Joseph Ratzinger, later to become Pope Benedict XVI, said, speaking of Balthasar's work in general, What the Pope intended to express by this mark of distinction, i.e., elevation to the cardinalate, and of honor, remains valid, no longer only private individuals but the Church itself, in its official responsibility, tells us that he is right in what he teaches of the faith. Works The most comprehensive bibliography 223 pages, including translations up to 2005 now available of all of von Balthasar's writings is Kappel, Cornelia, Muller, Claudia, eds. 2005. Hans Urs von Balthasar, Bibliography 1925-2005. Einsiedeln, Johannes Verlag. ISBN 978-3894110291. Other works 
Hans Urs von Balthasar In the Fullness of Faith. On the Centrality of the Distinctively Catholic. Translated by Graham Harrison of the German Original Catholic Ignatius Press. p. 130. ISBN 978-0898701661. Controversy In the 1970 book Theology der Drei Tage English translation, Mysterium Pascale, he explored the meaning of Holy Saturday, where Jesus Christ dies and descends to the dead, to be resurrected by God the Father and his own power. In the preface to the second edition, Balthasar takes a cue from Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 Vulgate, Agni ki oxysis est ab origin mundi, niv, the Lamb who was slain from the creation of the world to extrapolate the idea that God as immanent trinity can endure and conquer godlessness, abandonment, and death in an eternal super -kenosis. Christ would deposit his divine knowledge with the Father before the Incarnation and, after it, he would literally be made sin. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 21, experiencing in Sheol after his death on the cross a state of abandonment from the Father worse than hell. In the words of Balthasar himself, at this point, where the subject undergoing the hour is the Son speaking with the Father, the controversial theopascist formula has its proper place, one of the Trinity has suffered, the formula can already be found in Gregory Nazianzen, we needed a crucified God. His other controversial theological assertions were in favor of a rehabilitation of origin and his soteriology. In a sort of conflict among the theological virtues, since Love believes all things, but also hopes all things. 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 7. What for fides must be rejected, for spes must be accepted, in order to recover with the theology of hope what in 553 the dogmatic theology had condemned with the anathema of the Fifth Ecumenical Council of Constantinople against the possibility of apocatastasis, i.e. of a universal salvation. Universal salvation, if it happens, would be the result of the utter abandonment the Son undergoes." Balthasar cited the list of other Catholic thinkers who have agreed with such a perspective, Perzavara, de Lubac, Fessard, Blondel, Pagai, Claudel, Marcel, Bloy, Ratzinger, Casper, Greshake, Guardini, Rahner. In summa, a company in which one can feel quite comfortable. Balthasar provided a glowing testimonial, published on the back of the jacket of the first hardback English language edition, for Valentin Tomberg's major work of Christian occultism, Meditations sur les 22 Arcanes Meyers du Tarot, initially attributed only to an anonymous author, as Tomberg wished, and later published in English as Meditations on the Tarot, and afterward attached to the more recent English paperback edition notes, Cardinal Ors von Balthasar, on the front cover. Topic. Legacy Balthasar's theological dramatic theory has influenced the work of Raymond Schwager. Balthasar's major writings have been translated into English, and the journal he co founded with Henri de Lubac, Carl Lehmann, and Joseph Ratzinger, Communio, currently appears in twelve languages. In delivering his eulogy, Ratzinger, quoting de Lubac, called Balthasar, perhaps the most cultured man of our time. A tribute to Balthasar's immense erudition. Topic References. Topic Further reading. Introductory studies. Peter Henrici, S.J. Hans Urs von Balthasar: A Sketch of His Life. Communio, International Catholic Review 16 thirds Fall, 1989, 306-50 Rodney Hausar, Balthasar, A Guide for the Perplexed, 2009 Karen Kilby, Balthasar, A Very Critical Introduction, 2012 Aidan Nichols, The Word Has Been Abroad, A Guide Through Balthasar's Aesthetics, Introduction to Hans Urs von Balthasar 1, 1998 Aidan Nichols, No Bloodless Myth, A Guide Through Balthasar's Dramatics, Introduction to Hans Urs von Balthasar, 2000 Aidan Nichols, Say It Is Pentecost, A Guide Through Balthasar's Logic, Introduction to Hans Urs von Balthasar, 2001 
Aidan Nichols, Scattering the Seed, A Guide Through Balthasar's Early Writings on Philosophy and the Arts, Introduction to Hans Urs von Balthasar, 2006 Aidan Nichols, Divine Fruitfulness, A Guide Through Balthasar's Theology Beyond the Trilogy, Introduction to Hans Urs von Balthasar, 2007 John O'Donnell, Hans Urs von Balthasar, Outstanding Christian Thinkers, 2000 Ben Quash, Hans Urs von Balthasar, in David F. Ford, The Modern Theologians, 3rd edn, 2005 In-Depth Studies Lucy Gardner et al., Balthasar at the End of Modernity, 1999 Mark A. McIntosh, Christology from Within, Spirituality and the Incarnation in Hans Urs von Balthasar, Studies in Spirituality and Theology, 3, 2000 Aidan Nichols, A Key to Balthasar, Hans Urs von Balthasar on Beauty, Goodness and Truth, 2011 Paul Silas Peterson, The Early Hans Urs von Balthasar, Historical Contexts and Intellectual Formation, 2015 J. Riches, ed., The Analogy of Beauty, The Theology of Hans Urs von Balthasar Edinburgh, 1986 Gordon, James, 2016. A Holy One in Our Midst. Minneapolis, Fortress Press Denny, Christopher, 2016. A Generous Symphony. Minneapolis, Fortress Press O'Regan, Cyril, 2014. The Anatomy of Misremembering, von Balthasar's Response to Philosophical Modernity, Volume 1, Hegel. Chestnut Ridge, Crossroad Publishing O'Regan, Cyril. Forthcoming. The Anatomy of Misremembering, von Balthasar's Response to Philosophical Modernity, Volume 2, Heidegger. Chestnut Ridge, Crossroad Publishing Topic. External links Publications by and about Hans Urs von Balthasar in the catalog Helvetikat of the Swiss National Library Ignatius Insight. Com Hans Urs von Balthasar Authors Page, Bio, books published by Ignatius Press, excerpts, and articles about von Balthasar Hans Urs von Balthasar Profile and Books on Goodreads Hans Urs von Balthasar, Internet Archive Works by or about Hans Urs von Balthasar in Libraries WorldCat Catalog. The Casa Balthasar in Rome, Italy Quotations from Hans Urs von Balthasar Hans Urs von Balthasar Siftung The Lubeck Balthasar Spare Association Johannes Verlag Publishing House founded by Hans Urs von Balthasar The Inflated Reputation of Hans Urs von Balthasar, by Regis Scanlon OFM. Cap Karen Kilby on Balthasar 1 on YouTube and 2 on YouTube. Balthasar's Method of Divine Naming. Nova et Vetera 1 2003, 245-68, available online, article by Bernhard Blankenhorn, O.P. Heiligenkreuz 2014, ISBN 978-3-902694-64-5, S26-58. Literature by and about Hans Urs von Balthasar in the German National Library Catalog Works by and about Hans Urs von Balthasar in the Deutsche Digital Bibliothek German Digital Library. Victor Konzamias, Balthasar, Hans Urs von in German, French and Italian in the Online Historical Dictionary of Switzerland. Bishop, B. V. Balt. Catholic-Hierarchy.org. David M. Cheney. Hans Urs von Balthasar, An Introduction by Mark Elliott Hans Urs von Balthasar. Der Theodramatiker, Short Portrait by Katharina Klocker Werner Loser, Herr Usforderungen, Begenungen, Weikenstelungen. Rahner, Balthasar.